All right, guys, so we're gonna work from the spider web position next. So arm bar is gonna be one of our more higher percentage submissions when it comes to jujitsu. And this is a really popular position that you're gonna wind up in, whether you throw this arm bar from closed guard, whether you throw it from mount, typically you're gonna wind up in Alex's position here where you're fighting for, for uh, Dan's arm, his near side arm, so he can look to get some sort of extension at the elbow and get his hips thrusting underneath that things here. So uh, first thing Alex, is, Alex does here is he gets the underhook on the leg. What this is gonna avoid is Dan rocking up and coming up on top of him, okay? The next thing he's got is a really deep hook. So a common mistake that we see is people are actually using their hands to grab the forearm itself. This is a big mistake, okay? Then you're relying on a lot of rowing and a lot of pulling your back muscles here versus if you get a deep hook like Alex, now he's thinking more about the hinge of his hips to start to break this grip. So the core and the lower back come into play rather than just trying to pull with the hands. And when, when sweat comes involved, that grip's just not gonna work out for us here. So he's got two deep hooks fed all the way through, right? And another way to stay really, really tight to make sure your opponent isn't wiggling around too much is to cross these ankles and then curl the heels, right? So what he's doing is bringing Dan's shoulders together and crushing them, all right? So it's gonna make Dan's defense a little bit harder. So first thing we're gonna talk about is the guy on bottom, how he's gonna wind up freeing up that arm and staying out of danger. So Dan has his arms locked into a figure four, just like a rear naked choke, okay? So his arm that's getting attacked is grabbing his far side bicep, and then more importantly from there is that he's swimming his hand under Alex's thigh that's covering his face, okay? So now Dan can simultaneously protect his own arm and get some of the pressure off of his face so he can start to create some space here, okay? So real simple, he uses his far leg to post and shrimp and he's gonna use his spider web arm underneath Alex's thigh to push up. That creates some space um, in between Alex's legs and Dan's gonna hip out real strong and rip that elbow right to the floor, okay? And his arm is free, okay? Now obviously there's multiple directions that Alex can take from there, but as far as the general spider web position goes, Dan escaped, okay? So golden rules here for Alex, he gets deep hooks, no shallow hooks, cupping with the hands itself. The whole body, the whole arm gets involved when it comes to keeping these grips. He's got his legs involved too. So all four limbs are, are being put to work. Dan's comfortable on the bottom with the spider web, bicep grip, hand behind the thigh. So he's trying to create some space there, right? But Alex isn't giving it to him now, okay? So Alex is gonna be the attacker from this point forward. And now he's gonna take his leg that's over the thigh, uh, over, the, over the waistline here. He's gonna bring that calf over the top of Dan's wrist, okay? And if you guys do have a little bit of trouble as far as hip dexterity goes, okay, you can actually wind up switching the hook and then using your own hand to pull your, your ankle a little bit higher, okay? Now, Dan still has his grip real strong, right? And what Alex is gonna wind up doing with this calf across the wrist is gonna create some compression on Dan's arm, right? So he, he wedges his own forearm in there and then starts to compress. And what that does is puts a lot of stress around the elbow joint, as well as um, where the bicep is connecting to the bone. Um, definitely a lot of pressure there. So Dan winds up actually releasing this. So let's go back to the figure four real fast, right? Alex will bring that calf over the top, right? And now to really get some extra pressure and submit somebody with this, Alex is going to figure four his legs. Okay, now he's got some hamstring curls behind that for the compression of Dan's arm. His wedge is in there nice and tight, right? This pain can be quite unbearable and pretty damaging. So Dan's either gonna do one or two things. He's either gonna tap to the, the bicep cutter or he's gonna release his grip and allow Alex to take his arm, okay? Now, Alex can do a nice uh, easy finish here, but once that grip is broken, we need to focus on uh, proper wrist control. So this is where you can turn your deep hook into two on ones on the arm you're attacking, right? So Alex will get two hands around this wrist nice and strong, right? He can abandon that arm, right? He keeps his hamstring curl happening over Dan's face, okay? And he's gonna wind up, you can keep that foot in there. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't even worry about that, right? And this heel is curling really tight to your opponent's neck. So Dan is still stuck on the floor, being that his head is covered. He's got a full extension of Dan's elbow. 
and he controls the position of Dan's elbow by controlling the wrist. So if I take my arm straight in here and I roll my wrist from side to side, my elbow has no choice but to follow. And being that Alex needs to keep Dan's elbow flushed with the hip, he's gonna control that wrist, okay? Real easy way to finish. He curls the heels, he pulls down, he squeezes his knees, he lifts his hips off the floor, and you got a nice easy finish, okay? One more time, let's bring it back to the beginning. So the spider web position, we have a deep hook around this uh, leg here. Now I know uh, Eddie has changed up the rules as far as EBI goes when it comes to the spider web position. Um, this tends to be a fan favorite even though you're not allowed to grab it before the overtime starts. But as far as control goes and keeping your opponent on the back, this really solid position. Okay, Dan has a nice strong spider web where he's grabbing his bicep and hiding the far hand underneath the thigh that's squashing his face. Because again, he's looking to clear that or he's looking to create some space so he can pull his elbow to the mat, right? He can't do it because Alex has a real strong curl and it's keeping the arm tight to the groin area. So now there's no space to pull his elbow to the floor. So what Alex is gonna wind up doing is gonna go right to that bicep cutter that we just spoke about so he can start to break the grip. So the leg that's over the waist goes over the forearm, the leg that's on the head, figure four is over the top of that arm, Dan's starting to feel that pressure, so he releases the grip. Now, Dan has an, one last option here since his arms are disconnected, okay? Alex is gonna wind up falling back on that arm bar, but Dan's not having it. So just as we spoke before about rotating that wrist and turning the elbow off the center line of the hips, okay? Dan's actually gonna wind up pretending like he's hitchhiking here, okay? Turning his thumb behind him, right? So we don't hitchhiker in front of our face this way, right? We come behind us. So he's gonna wind up turning his thumb to the mat, and this is the tricky part. He actually wants to walk his hips away from Alex and turn belly down and then posture up from there, okay? And that's how he's gonna wind up pulling his arm out of the dangerous position finding his uh, better posture, so then he can start to attack Alex from the top. Okay, one last time. Let's scoot back to the center here a little bit. Thanks. Okay, some golden rules from the spider web. Deep hooks, number one, ankles crossed and heels curled, okay? If you can't cross your ankles, just make sure the heels are curled. That's gonna keep Dan nice and tight on bottom, right? And rule number three for the bottom person as far as the fence goes, Bicep grip, hand underneath the thigh, okay? So Alex is doing everything he can. Granted guys, there's, there's tons of ways we can break this spider web open, but as a general rule of thumb, we're gonna follow these, these, these uh, techniques here, okay? Alex can't break the grip, so he winds up going leg from over the torso to over the wrist, okay? Getting that compression in your opponent's arm while keeping a real strong wedge there. Now we figure four is the leg, right? Starts to put some added pressure on Dan's bicep. So Dan releases it. Alex has a chance to finish, right? But Dan hasn't given up yet. So he starts to turn the thumb down to the mat, walks the hips, turns belly down, creates his posture, and he's got a clear pathway to side control, okay? So this is a general, general overlook of the spider web position. You guys can practice these moves in open mat or after class and um, get a little bit familiar with where your arms need to be and how we connect and how we stay tight in that position. That way our arm bar is a little bit more effective.